Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video, you will learn how to create authentication using Vue.js. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial, you will be able to create login component. This is the fourth part for our Vue.js authorization tutorial. Let's start with it. Now that we registered, we want to log in with our user. After the user is registered, we want to redirect him to login page. The way to redirect in view is to use this dot dollar router dot push slash login. So when our response is successful, we will get redirected to login route. Let's go to login route now. And now let's add our login credentials to our backend. First, add the data. Return email, which is initialized to empty and password empty string to. We want to use them as a V model here. We also want to submit the form, so type submit.prevent to prevent the default behavior. So the page won't refresh. Handle submit. We will create that function here. To methods, handle submit. Here we will call our backend to log in our user. So we need to import Axios from Axios. And let's make this function a sync. Create a variable response which is equal to await Axios post login. And now we need to add the data. The data are email, this.email, password, this.password. And let's console log it. Go to our page. You can see that we have an error. So this response here is never used. For now, let's remove it. Now let's go to our login and console log. Write an email and a password. We can see that the login is successful. We get the token here. We also get the user. So we successfully logged in. Now we want to use this token to get our current logged in user. First we need to store it to our app. The way to store it is to use local storage. So let's go to login.view and let's use local storage set item. Token response.data.token So now we stored our token and we want to use it. To use it, we need to call our user endpoint to get the current logged in user. We can do that in the home page where we'll display the message hello and username and password. Let's do that. Add the property created. This will trigger when the component is created and we need to call now Axios to get the current logged in user. So let's import Axios from Axios. Let's make this function async. Let's 
and response equals await axios get user. And console log the response here. But this won't work because we didn't set the token on the headers. So if we go to the home page, we can see that we are getting the unauthenticated error message. To add the variable on the headers, we need to add another parameter here which are the headers, and the header will be authorization bearer concatenated with local storage get item token. If we refresh the page, we will get the current logged in user. Now we need to add this header to every request that we want, the user to be logged in. And this is not a good practice, to repeat the same code every time, to add it to every request. So in order to simplify this, let's go to our Axios and add another line here. Axios defaults headers common, so this will be the common header for every request. Authorization. And let's copy this line here and add it here. So this will automatically set our headers without the need to add them on every request. Let's go to home and let's remove this line here. Open the browser and we can see that we are still getting the current logged in user, which is what we want.